Many pros have been calling for Noe Inoue to face Javonta Davis, and Inoue has responded to Javonta's latest call-out. Floyd Mayweather really wants to see Inoue face Javonta, and he can't stop singing his praises. The kid from Japan, Inoue. Mm -hmm. So when you see, he got the victory over Cool Boy Steph. Cool Boy Steph, he's not a heavy puncher, good boxer. But far as, you know, Inoue, um, it was a Filipino fighter he had fought twice, Donaire. So Donaire was giving, giving him fits in the first, first fight. And if I'm not mistaken, Donaire was somewhere close to 40 or 40 years old when he fought him the first time. Whereas, and he was in his 20s. So he should have he should have knocked him out in the first fight. <laughs> Fighting a guy, you know, like I said before, you know, at that age. What I need Anui to do is, I need, I need him to come fight in the U.S., random blood, urine testing. I, I, I think he's, I think he's a hell of a fighter. A hell of a fighter. I won't take nothing away from him. Hell of a fighter. And I, and I, and I like him because I see he take, a lot of my, he take a lot of my stuff from my playbook. Of course, Floyd thinks Gervonta should be on the pound for pound list, but he thinks that the reason Gervonta's been left out is because he's associated with Floyd. Floyd stated, when is Gervonta Davis going to go in the pound for pound list? Does Noya in a way deserve it? Absolutely. Does Terrence Crawford? Absolutely. But what about Gervonta Davis? They don't give him that credit because he was affiliated with me. Bob Arum really didn't think that the fight made much sense though, and he stated, in a way started at 108, and now he's working his way up to 122. He is a tremendous star in Japan. Virtually nobody in Japan knows who Tank Davis is. Why would Inoue now, when he's undersized at 122, talk about fighting a guy who is essentially a 140 pounder? It makes absolutely no sense. I mean, no sense. Yeah, I know Tank sells in the US, but it's not good for Inoue to rush up and fight guys who are so much bigger than he is. I don't care about the stature of Tank. Tank is… that's why they call him Tank. He's the a bigger person. In a way, looked like a shrimp compared to Stephen Fulton. When I was there, I said, oh my god, this is gonna be really tough. He handled Fulton easily. Let's see what he does with Marlon Tipales. And then there are guys at 126 that will test him. Let's see how he does there. To put him in with a 140 pounder, you've gotta be stupid. And the Japanese are not stupid. Roley Romero really didn't like Inoue's chances against someone like Gervonta and he stated, Inoue versus Tank? Tank by murder. You know, you know, Inoue is a good fighter and all. You know, he's very talented. I can't follow him. He doesn't speak English. On top of that, Tank is way bigger. As for Inoue, Liam Davies thinks that he would beat any featherweights that get put in front of him, and he stated, I feel like Inoue is gonna win. I expect him to beat Tapales. I feel like he could beat the featherweights. If I was him, that's what I'd be doing, but my shot is gonna come, and I just have to keep winning until then. I genuinely believe it's gonna come. Win, I don't know but when it does, I'll be ready and make sure I become a world champion. Nonito Danaire has faced Inoue twice before, and he says that Inoue was actually his toughest fight. When it comes down to a lot of things, you know, I think the best guy that I faced, and uh, maybe perhaps if I was younger, it might be a different story, but at the moment of, of who I am in this time, I, I would say Inoue is, is, is the, the toughest that I've, that I've faced, or the strongest that I've faced. I think it was like facing the younger me. You know, there's just a lot of a lot of similarities in terms of power, explosiveness, um, and and sometimes intelligence. You know, um, but I think a lot of it is uh, is given the um, the similarities is like is what makes it more difficult. Some people think that Inoue has to worry about his upcoming fight before anything else as they think Marlon Tapales is a nightmare for him. How do you, how do you now see that? Now, first of all, <laughs> he has to get by my other fighter, Marlon Tapales, first. Uh, that's true. So, okay. yes, we're that's not going to give him that opportunity okay. to talk about 26 at this point. Okay. You sit at 22, <laughs> deal with that first, and then we'll have a well, conversation about that one? About 26. How, how about that one with Tapales? How about that oh, one? Oh, it's going to be a great fight. The thing is, I feel like Marlon's different because... Marlon's come from hard time, bad, you know, tough situations. And so he's not scared to go against the odds being quote unquote against him. He's yeah. ready for this fight. So um, anyway, go find a guy in there who's not afraid of him at all. Even though he, he, they call him the monster. No, this guy's the monster. Marlon's the monster.
Yeah, a Carmel Moton definitely thinks Inoue is the real deal, but Floyd sees Moton surpassing him. Floyd stated, I can't really say who his style is like. You know, that kid from Japan, he's a hell of a fighter. Hell of a fighter. And what we are doing in today's time, we make in dream matches. No different from when we did the Mayweather Canelo, we did the Mayweather McGregor, we did the Mayweather Pacquiao. We do the biggest matches out there, so in due time, we never know. It can be Moton, and you know, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but the kid from Japan. If that's okay, you know, no disrespect. Bob Arum thinks that Inoue is better than Manny Pacquiao, and he thinks that there's a possibility that he could move up in weight. Bob stated, Inoue is a tremendous, tremendous fighter, like we've never seen before, maybe since Manny Pacquiao, probably better than Pacquiao was. I think he has a chance to go all the way up, maybe even to junior lightweight or lightweight. Well, not 140, he's not a big guy. Look how Fulton I was there. He's so much bigger than he was at 122. Inoue is something special. I love Manny. Manny knows boxing, but what's he gonna add to Inoue? Where's Inoue falling short where Pacquiao could help him? Shakur Stevenson likes the idea of fighting Inoue, and he's mentioned that there are negotiations going on. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna set myself up. We'll see if the negotiations happen. Right. Tell him to come up and fight me. I, I love to fight. Anyway, he, he a hell of a fighter. I think, I mean, honestly, he's probably one of the fighters I've been watching the most lately. So I give him his credit as far as skills. His speed, his power, everything is tremendous. But I think he's just a little too small. On top of that, Shakur also compared Kermel Moton to Inoue, and he stated, I think Kermel is the truth. I had the opportunity to spar him. What fight was that? Oh, for my last fight, actually, against Yoshino, I sparred him. I think he's the truth. He got speed. He got good boxing skills. I think he's ready. He's a great fighter. I can't wait to see what happens in the future with him. Stylistically, maybe like Inoue with more punches, because he kind of throws more punches than Inoue, but he's fast, sharp, and keeps his hands up. So I'll say like an Inoue with a lot more punches. Meanwhile, Gervonta Davis has his own potential fights, but Bob Arum actually believes that quite a few of them can beat Gervonta. Bob stated, All three I think would beat Gervonta Davis. I really believe that. I think Shakur beats him, I think Teofimo beats him, and I think Lomachenko beats him. I think Tink Davis is the real deal. That's why we're talking about him. He's a hell of a performer, a terrific athlete boxer, but so are the other three guys you mentioned. Gervonta seems to have his own list of people that he hopes to be in the ring with. I got some people I want to get. Like I don't want to say their names, but just say yes or no. Haney? Yes. Lomacheco? Yes. Tiafimo? Yes. Not really so much to Tiafimo. Not so much. It's At not least. on your list. Yeah, it's not on my list. He's not. Cambosis? No. <laughs> is there anyone I'm missing, or is that it? Yeah, but I don't want to say his name. Shakur? Yeah. There have been talks about Gervonta getting in the ring with Devin Haney, but Steven Edwards doesn't think that fight will happen because of the mismatch in size. Steven stated, I don't think Devin and Tank are going to fight, so I'm not even going to discuss that. I think it's too much weight that separates them. I know it's only one division, but Devin rehydrated pretty significantly for his fight with Regis Pro Gray. I know it's not his fault as he did within the rules, but I just don't see that fight happening. Both guys are going to be dictating too much. Devin isn't going to fight Tank at 135, and I don't think Tank is going to fight him at 140, so I don't think the fight is going to happen. So everybody's all arguing and stuff, but I don't think it's even worth talking about it because I don't think they're going to fight. I think they're going to go their separate ways. As for Inoue versus Gervonta, Inoue gave his opinion on facing him. Inoue stated, I don't think it's possible to fight him. It's more hype that fans are putting together. I think of him very highly. If he's on the lower part of the pound, for pound list, I think he should be up a little bit further than where he is now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.